Okay, let's take a look at 1 Kings chapter 18. I hope you're there. 1 Kings chapter 18. And I want to start in verse 17. Now, before I start reading, let me explain what I'm going to be talking about. And uh, this, in the, in the scriptures, and I'm going to read a, a, a long set of scriptures here, so bear with me. Normally, I try not to read the entire account in the Bible, but this time I will. But, but I, I want you to understand what this is all about. The title of my message today is The Resurrection of Jezebel. The Resurrection of Jezebel. And now, if you don't know anything about Jezebel, Jezebel was the daughter of the king of Tyre. Now, they are, they are Canaanite people. And she believed in a god by the name of Baal. Now, Baal is a, is a false god, but we know also it's a demonic god. And that country, those people believed in that god. They served Baal. They serve the demonic world. And that's who she is. That's what she comes from. And, and she also, she also had a God that she worshiped that was a female God by the name of Azariah. And Azariah is a goddess of the Canaanites and a wicked individual and a wicked God. And so you've got Baal and Azariah. And that's who she worshipped. And that's why when you when I say the name Jezebel, it just comes out and you just know that I'm talking about an evil, wicked woman. Amen. Well, what does she have to do with the story here in the Bible is that the king of Israel, Ahab, married Jezebel. So now Jezebel becomes the queen of Israel and she convinces Ahab to do away with Jehovah God in all of Israel and to worship Baal and to worship Asherah and that do away and close the temple down. We don't need the temples. We don't need the, we don't need the synagogues. We don't need the places where, where they worship Jehovah God. We just need statues of Baal. We need statues of Azariah. We need to get the people to, to worship my God, she said, and not Jehovah God. That She said, we're going to do away with that God. And you know what they did? Ahab, Ahab closed down the synagogues, closed down the temple, and had everybody worshiping Baal and Azariah because that's what his wife needed. That's what his wife wanted. And so Jezebel becomes really the ruler over Israel because she manipulates Ahab. And Ahab even shuts down the word of God and says we're no longer going to have the word of God spoken. We're going to do away with the commandments of God. We're going to do away with the Ten Commandments. We're going to do away with all of that because all of that is wrong for our people. And so Israel begins to worship false gods and Jezebel goes into the White House of Israel with, with, with Ahab uh, the, the one that uh, allowed all of this to happen, manipulated by these people underneath him, and it becomes an evil and wicked nation that completely goes against God. There's only one person standing up preaching about Jehovah God, and that's a prophet by the name of Elijah. And Elijah, the Bible says, was the only one that stood his ground and preached about God and preached about the word of God. And it offended Jezebel and Ahab 
Ahab and Jezebel wanted him dead. They wanted to shut down everything pertaining to God. And that's what this account is right here. Look in verse 17. 1 Kings 18, 17 says, And it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah, that Ahab said unto him, Art thou he that troubleth Israel? And he answered, I have not troubled Israel, but thou and thy father's house, in that ye have forsaken the commandments of the Lord, and thou hast followed Balaam. Now therefore, send and gather to me all Israel unto Mount Carmel. Mount Carmel's north of, of, of Jerusalem, up there in the Samaritan mountains. Uh, and the prophets of Baal, 450. And the prophets of the groves, groves is interpreted as Asherah, the female goddess, 400 that follow her in the king's court, which eat at Jezebel's table. So Elijah says, go out and bring everybody, all the Israelites to Mount Carmel. I, I'm going to show them some. And bring all the prophets of Baal and bring all the prophets of Asherah and bring them all with all the people and bring them up to the top of that mountain. I'm going to show them some. Verse 20, so Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. And Elijah came and all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. And then said Elijah unto the people, I, even I only, remain a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophets are 450 men. Let them, therefore, give us two bullocks, and let them choose one bullock for themselves, and cut it in pieces, and lay it on wood, and put no fire under. And I will dress the other bullock, and lay it on wood, and put no fire under. And call ye on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of the Lord. And the God that answereth by fire, let him be God. And all the people answered and said, It is well spoken. <laughs> and Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, Choose you one bullet for yourself, and dress it first, for ye are many. And call on the name of your gods, and put no fire under. And they took the bullet which was given them, and they dressed it, and called on the name of Baal from morning even unto noon, saying, O Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, nor any that answered. And they leaped upon the altar which was made. And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them and said, Cry aloud. For he is a God. Either he is talking, or he is pursuing, or he is in a journey, or peradventure he sleepeth and must be awakened. And they cried aloud and cut themselves after the manner with knives and lances, and the blood gushed out upon them. And it came to pass when midday was past, and they prophesied unto the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, that there was neither voice nor any to answer, nor any that regarded. And Elijah said unto all the people, Come near unto me. All the people came near unto him, and he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. And Elijah took twelve stones according to the number of the tribes of the son of Jacob, unto whom the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel shall be thy name. And with the stones he built the altar in the name of the Lord, and he made a trench about the altar as great as would contain two measures of seed. And he put the wood in order, and cut the bullock in pieces, and laid it upon the wood, and said, Fill four barrels with water, 
water and pour it on the burnt sacrifice and on the wood. And he said, do it a second time. And they did it a second time. And he said, do it a third time. And they did it a third time. And the water ran round about the altar. And he filled the trench also with water. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel, that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things at thy word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the Lord God, and that thou hast turned their heart back again. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt offering and the wood and the stones and the dust, and it licked up the water that was in the trenches. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, The Lord, He is the God. The Lord, He is the God. And Elijah said unto them, Notice this, Take the prophets of Baal. Let not one of them escape. And they took them. And Elijah brought them down to the brook Kishon and slew them there. He ridded the place of evil people. Listen, I want to talk about this, this account that God gives us because what I see in here is some things that I truly believe that America needs to hear today, Amen. that the church needs to hear today. Now listen, I, the, the first thing that I noticed in all of this, number one, is that Elijah identified the evil problem. Uh, Elijah identified the evil problem. You notice in verses 18 and 19 that Elijah came over here and he began to, to tell them, he said that, that, that here's the problem. He said in verse 18, I have not troubled Israel, but thou. And he, and he said, he said that thou has followed Balaam in verse 18. And, and so he points out to that. Here's the evil problem in the world. You people have forsaken God. You people have walked away from God. Listen, when you shut down God's word, when you close down the, the sacrifices of God, when you turn, when you turn the people away from the word of God, when you say that, that God's people are the crazy ones and that God's house has to be shut down and that the preaching of the Lord cannot go forward, when you do that, you offend God. When you do that, you offend the very one that created this universe. And pay attention to God's word. God will not put up with it very long. Amen. God was angry here. And, and, and Elijah just pointed out the problem. That, that, that they have done away with the word of God. They have closed down the word of God. They have closed down the house of God. And friends, you better... You might, might look around, that's happening right here in this country today. There's people that, that want to shut the church down. There's people that want to shut the preaching down. They say that what is said is offensive to people. Well, you know what? What I preach sometimes is offensive to me. It steps on my toes. It hits me hard also. But you know what? God didn't say God didn't say that it's got to match up with your lifestyle. He said, I've got to match up with his lifestyle. It's not according to what I like. It's what God said. And you see, what America needs to pay attention to the things that God gave to Israel. Israel is the example for the world. Israel is how God wants it run Israel is how God has put it down. Israel is the where God laid down the law, laid down the word of God, and he said everybody is to follow this. Everybody is to pay attention to this. Here is the account, and you do it my way, not your way. And the church needs to understand that we've got to do it God's way. And when you start just shutting down, 
closing up and saying, you know what, we're not going to talk about that anymore because somebody's going to get offended. Well, then we're not preaching the Word of God. Right. We've got to preach the Word of God no matter what it is, and, and, and this Bible is going to be our book, and we've got to follow our book, God's Word. And, and, I, and I don't want to offend anybody, but... but if it's in the word of God, go by it. Amen. And that's what it's got to be. Elijah identified, first of all, Elijah identified the evil problem that was in his country. And I would, and, and we can look at it. It won't take us long to look around and identify some major problems that we're seeing in our country today. And our country needs to get back to the word of God. We need to get back to church. We need to get back to live in the way that God would have us to live. We need to put God first. And, and we, have the, we have pushed God out. Now, the, most of the world and most of this country does not want the word of God. It does not want the preaching and the teaching and the things that's in this book right here. And we've got to stand on the word of God and just not give in. Listen, we if we have to close down the church because of sickness, then we do it for the good of everybody. We'll do it to protect everybody. But the word of God is still going to get out. I'm still going to put the word of God out over the internet. I'll still put the word of God out. Uh, uh, through the Facebook and YouTube until they shut that down. And then we'll find another way of getting it out. But we will get it out somehow to all of our folks. But we're not just going to arbitrarily lock the doors Amen. and just say, well, we don't, we're just, we're just going to abide by, by the, what everybody is doing. We're going to stay here and preach the word of God as long as we've got room for people to spread out and, and, and people can be protected. We're going to still stand on the word of God and preach the word of God. And you see, the reason the, reason the problem existed in Israel is that they did away with the word of God. Amen. And we're not going to do that. Listen, the second thing that, second thing that I, I want to, mentioned to you is that Elijah gave them a life or death decision. Elijah gave them a life or death decision. In verse 20 and 21, what did he say? He said in verse 20 and 21, he said, uh, you need to choose who you're going to serve. Uh, what, what are you going to do? Make a decision. If you're going to, if you're going to serve God, serve God. If you're going to serve Baal, serve Baal. But you can't do both. You can't, you've got to make a decision in life. Are you going to be a Christian or are you going to live in the world that, that God would not approve? He's telling the Jews, are you going to be good Jews or are you going to be Gentiles? Are you going to be like Ahab and Jezebel? Which one are you going to do? But you've got to make your decision. And you see, they made their decision. They chose to follow Baal. They chose to follow Asherah. They chose to, to live the way that Jezebel wanted them to live. Folks, I'm here to tell you, we've got an Ahab and Jezebel that, that, is, that is trying to run this country today. And they're trying to, they're trying to take God out and get rid of God. And trying to say, you know what? What you need to do is serve our gods. Serve the thing, the gods that, that we have. You know, there's all kind of gods out there. I saw a, I saw a guy on, on a, a television the other day make, make a comment that, that, that if the people that came to America just understood that if they had served Mother Earth, we wouldn't be having the problems that we're having today in this country. But we didn't serve Mother Earth the way that we should. Well, I'm here to tell you, you can worship Mother Earth if you want to. You can worship the whales. You can worship the porpoise. You can worship the owls. You can worship whatever you want to. But God is 
my God. Amen. Jehovah is my God. And I'm going to worship the one that God said to do. And I'm going to follow him. And I'm telling you, you'd be wise to follow Jehovah God instead of all those things that everybody's bowing down to today. Money won't get you there. Listen, uh, businesses won't get you there. Uh, all the things of the world will not get you there. But God will. God can take care of you no matter what. God can handle whatever. I've seen God provide in which people had nothing and faced absolute destruction and God came to the rescue. I've seen God move like never before. I'd rather have God than, than all the, the gods of this world that's out there. We, we, need, we need to worship Jehovah. And, uh, and, and so that's what Elijah said. Choose. You, you, people have to make a decision. And I'm afraid that, that our country is starting to make a decision or perhaps I should say has already made a decision on who they will serve out there. We're growing smaller in numbers if you haven't uh, figured it out. Christianity is growing smaller and smaller. Uh, you look around in churches today and you see, you, you'll you see that the churches that used to be packed in there, uh, that there's a lot of room in a lot of churches today. Uh, it, it's, it's Christianity is growing smaller and smaller because people are making the decision just as Elijah said, choose who you're going to serve. And most of the world has made that decision. God's not pleased. Remember, God said, he said, if my people uh, who are known by, by you know, by, by me, that, and, and they know me and I know them. He said, if my people, the, the ones that, that I know who you are and you know who I am. He said, if you'd only if you would only humble yourself and pray and, and seek my face and turn from your wicked ways. Boy, he, he said, I'll heal your land. Right. But, but, but you know what? He, his own people, he, he was speaking to his people. If my people would do that. I'm, he wasn't talking about those over there that's not his. He just said, if my people would do it. I could heal their land, and and it's not happening, and uh, and it's sad in this world today. Third thing I want to share with you is that Elijah took a stand against overwhelming odds. Elijah took a stand against overwhelming odds. In verse twenty-two, it, in verse twenty-two, it said, "Then said Elijah unto the people, I even I only." Remain a prophet of the Lord. Just, it's just me. I don't have an army. I don't have a church. I don't have a group. It's just me. What are you going to do if it goes down to just you? If, if it was just you standing on the word of God and everybody was against you, that's what, that's what Elijah was facing. He said, I can't find anybody. It's just me. What would we do? If we looked around and we'd had nobody at our back, it was just us. You know what? I hope we'd be an Elijah. Amen. I hope and pray that we would just stand our ground and say, whatever comes, but I'm going to stand for Jehovah God. Amen. That's right. I'm going to preach <laughs> Jehovah God. Like it or not, it's just me. I can't beat you. You you got the whole army. It's just me. That, that'd be, you know, what are you going to do when it's just you standing there? I'll never forget that picture when there was, when that revolt was taking place in China years ago. Some of you may have remembered seeing that picture. It was in all the magazines. One little Chinese man standing in the middle of the street in front of a tank. And behind that tank was tank after tank after tank of Chinese army and infantry all loaded down with weapons. And they were coming down the street to put down the revolution that had started. I remember that. It was years ago, but I, I'll never forget that picture. You can find it. It's out there. 
But right there in the middle of the street stood one little Chinese man. And the whole army of tanks came to a complete stop. And he stood there by himself. And that's the picture. The one little man brought the whole army of China to a stop right there in that street. And he stood by himself. Now we know, I, I, I read the, the accounts later and I know what happened to him. He disappeared. But he stood. You know what? Paul stood. And they took him out. And Peter stood and they took him out. And James stood and they took him out. But you know what? I'd rather be taken out, standing for God, and go and meet my Lord and know that I stood for Him rather than to just turn and run and say, you know, Lord, they just outnumbered me. Amen. It stands. You were talking about that in Sunday school today, brothers. You know, stand. Just stand. Uh, it, God says it over and over and over in the Bible. Stand. Stand. And that's what God wants us to do today. Elijah took a stand. I am the only one standing here, Jezebel. I'm the only one standing here, Ahab, but I ain't going away. And, and, and the, the fourth one I want you to see is that Elijah gave Baal time to prove their power. Elijah gave Baal all the time in the world, verses 24 through 29. He gave Baal all the time. Elijah said, hey, put your meat on your altar and call down your God from heaven and, and let it burn your sacrifice up. And they called and they called and they called and Baal did not answer. And Elijah began to make fun of him. Well, he must be asleep. Yell louder. And they yell louder. Oh, well, he must be on a trip. You better yell louder. And they would let yell. And then they started cutting themselves as the heathens would do to, to try to get attention to their God. And cutting themselves, the Bible says, and the blood gushed out of their bodies trying to, trying to get attention of their God. And Baal never answered. Let me tell you something. Baal might run this country, but Baal has no power. There's only one God that has power. There's only one God that we can serve, and that's Jehovah God, the God of Israel. And that's our God, and we've got to stand for him. Elijah gave Baal all the time in the world to try to poop for, prove his power. And he has no power. But yet so many people, the whole world bows down to him. The whole world worships him. In some manner, some form. That even, even in denying God, they're worshiping Baal. Because that's what Baal wants. Anything to take us away from Jehovah God. You know what? That's, that's all Satan's purpose is. Is to try to take you away from <laughs> worshiping God. And he'll use whatever method. Let's close down the church. Let's try to turn off the internet. Let's shut down Facebook. Let's, let's do this. We'll, we'll, we will stop them somehow. And God says, no, you won't. You can try, but I'll still find a way to get my message out. The last thing I want you to see is Elijah. Elijah called on Jehovah God and he showed up. Elijah called on Jehovah God and he showed up. In verse 33 through 39, Elijah put the meat on the altar and to make a point to everybody that was looking, he said, pour all that water on the wood. I want to make sure my wood is wet. You ever try to start a fire with wet wood? Uh, I, I, I'm telling you, there's some, there's some, back when I used to live over here and, and, and we had a big old fireplace and sometimes on winter, you know, that everybody would want to gather around on a Saturday morning. All the kids were there and boy, we, and, and daddy, go get, let's put a fire in the fireplace. All that was was work for daddy, but that's all right. That's what they wanted. And I'd go outside to the wood pile and it had been raining for four days. <laughs> 
And if it had not been for fat lighter, that wood would never have got. We burned more fat lighter in that thing. And, uh, but, but I'm telling you, we finally got a wood. We finally got a fire going. But I'm telling you, wet wood doesn't burn good. Right. And Elijah said, fill that thing up with water all the way over the top of my wood. And they all laughed. That ain't going to burn. And he said, you don't know my God. And when he called on Jehovah God, fire came down out of heaven and it says it was so hot it licked it up. There was nothing left but dust. Everything was burned. Let me tell you something. They can wet our wood all they want to. My God's got a fire that'll burn it up. Amen. And they will not stop the fire of the preaching of the word of God, the witnessing of the word of God, they will not stop the Lord Jesus Christ from going forward. Listen, that, Ahab and Jezebel may have a plan, but I'm telling you, my God's got a bigger one. And my God is going to get the victory. And we need to stay faithful to God. Not to what they got. Not to Baal and Asherah and, and all the things that are out there. We need to be Faithful to the God of Israel. Amen. You can watch, you pay attention to what's going on in the world today, and it all centers around Jerusalem, God's chosen cities. It all centers around what's going to happen in Israel. And, and that is the center of the universe right there. Right. That's right. God chose that place. And boy, I tell you what, when it, it, real shortly you're going to see some things start happening and that's just going to be the light switch that ought to come to every Christian God's fixing to move. Great. When? No man knows. But God is not going to take it and sit there and say, my fire will not come down because you poured water on their wood. No. You can wet my wood all day long. My God still got a fire that'll lick it up like the dust. So let's let's pray. Let's pray for uh, uh, pray for our country. Pray for all those in leadership positions. I pray, I truly pray for the coming leadership. I want you to know that I pray for. I would love to see people get saved Amen. in Washington, D.C. Can you imagine if the most wicked people that people <coughs> just don't like got saved and you saw God move and you saw America come back to God and America fall down on their knees and worship God. Listen, it happened in Israel and it can happen in America. Amen. We need to pray. Never give up. We will continue praying as God's people. Let's pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you, Lord. We praise you for who you are and what you have.